On the surface, we humans seem to be very different from animals. I mean, have you ever seen a dolphin host a TV show? But some animals can have human-like behaviors. Take a look. It's obvious that animals have some incredible ways of getting food. They hide patiently, set elaborate traps, go on high-speed chases, and skillfully forage for the perfect bite. But what if I told you that some animals have a totally different way of getting food that we hardly ever talk about? And no, they're not ordering delivery. They're farming. Several species of insects and marine animals do things like plant seeds, harvest crops, and use livestock. Hi, I'm Esther. I think nature is awesome, and I want to tell you all about it. So we're going to learn about animals farming on today's Nature Side Quest. First up, the marine ragworm. Just incredible from a distance. When ragworms aren't being eaten by different types of fish and shorebirds, they're munching down on whatever they can get their little jaws around. Mud, plankton, microscopic organisms, and cord grass. But at some point in time, the ragworms figured out that the grass sprouts are much softer and juicier than mature grass. Researchers have seen them take grass seeds back to their burrows, wait until the seeds start to germinate, and then munch on the baby sprouts. Can you imagine having to wait for a seed to sprout before you can eat? The worm's like, look, in about a week, this is going to be delicious. Another farmer in the sea is the damselfish. Damselfish are known for collecting algae and then planting it at their reef homes to serve as their primary food source. Damselfish are famous for aggressively defending their turf. Here's the thing. Some of these damselfish aren't just protecting their algae. They're also protecting a bunch of tiny little domesticated shrimp called mycid shrimp not to be confused with popcorn shrimp, which is a totally different type of shrimp. Mm -hmm. These shrimp take care of the algae farm. This mutualistic relationship is similar to how humans domesticated wolves and eventually bred them as dogs, but this isn't about humans, is it? No, it's about a damselfish and its shrimp just taking on the open ocean. For our next farmer, we have to move on to dry land. To our last example, ants using aphids as livestock. Aphids are tiny little insects that you can find on the backsides of leaves or stems. They suck sugary sap from the plants they're attached to. But at some point in time, ants started domesticating these sap-filled aphids because the aphids produce a substance called honeydew, which the ants love to drink. So how do the ants get the honeydew from the aphids? They milk them. If that's weird to you, maybe consider how we get milk. Ants are serious about their livestock, but aphids are perfectly capable of finding their own food. They don't need the ants to survive. So why are they so willing to live on their farms? It turns out that ants secrete a chemical from their feet that attracts and tranquilizes the aphids, which may explain why they're so chill about being herded around. Animals have some serious farming skills, so much for humans being the superior species. That's all for now. I'll see you on our next nature side quest. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.